Hello, hello! In this video, I would like to show you new tool that I recently released. MCP server for Power BI desktop. Now, the version 2 that I released on Friday covers all of the semantic entities, which means it's now possible to build full semantic model automatically using LLMs, either Claude, Claude Code, or other LLMs that support local MCPs. So today I would like to run an experiment where LLM will build model from scratch. What you see on screen is a prompt that I prepared. The model will be based on Contoso database, which I have running in the background. Now, to help out LLM a bit, I will also provide it with database schema, which I exported into CSV file and will provide as an input to LLM. Besides that, I prepared two files. One is with DAX best practices and another one is with semantic modeling best practices. All of that I will provide as an input to LLM. Let's go through the prompt and what's in there. I start with defining LLM role and what it will be doing. I also provide it with connection details to my SQL server running in the background and database name. I wanted to specifically use version with 10,000 records, not the larger one running on the same server. And there are a few phases which we'll be going through. The first phase is of course to establish connection and import uh, tables which are in the database. And there are a few objectives that it has to complete there. There are eight phases in total. Ideally, by the end of those eight phases, we should have fully self-assembled model, which follows best practices. So let's see if it's actually possible today or whether I will encounter some hiccups along the way. If I do, I will show you. It's an experiment. Right, so something could go wrong. Now, let's go briefly through the eight phases that I would like to complete. First, connection and import, I mentioned already, schema discovery and optimization. Phase three, relationships. Phase four, user-defined functions. So all of the reusable components will be defined as UDFs recently released and already supported by my MCP. Phase 5, development measures. Phase 6, validation and quality check. Phase 7, translation to Spanish. And Phase 8, document everything that has been done and provide status. I've also added some general guidelines and principles at the end of the document and expected outcomes. As you might know, LLMs are deterministic, which means if you're lucky, you can get good result. If you're unlucky, it can go the other way. Now, to make results more consistent, it's better to provide specific guidance. As I like to say, Specific expectations yield specific results. Okay, let's go. This experiment I will run in Cloud Code, just because it's way easier to run multi-step workflows in Cloud Code. Also, it supports agents, which I plan to use for context management. My MCP enabled already and exposed. Let's check on the context where we're starting with. I'm very curious whether we will be able to finish whole model in one go within token limit. As you can see, we have 76% of context left. Let's see if it will be enough. Okay, I will refer to my to-do document and I will switch to planning mode, which which that way Claude first will plan out the work and then once I approve, we'll start executing it.
As you can see here, I had to give some guidance because I started exploring some other files which are not relevant to this experiment. And we got first few questions. Let's use the deal and let's tell it to plan all eight phases. Great, so it picked up already some details from my guidance where I wanted it to analyze H and create H, H buckets for certain columns. And we want to import currency exchange table because I also have guidance about that to create measures that support currency exchange. Now that we, I answered those questions, it should prepare a plan. Okay, plan is ready. Let's quickly go through it. And let's see what's in there. Okay. Okay. Looks legit. So let's approve the plan. Now behind the scenes, there is actually things happen in Power BI desktop. This model was fully empty and now it has tables already. And it's actually just refreshed and populated tables with the data. What it did right now, it started an agent to optimize the model. Let's see what this agent is supposed to do. It will set format strings, it will hide foreign keys, it will configure the table, and it will set summarize by to none. Okay, we're already in phase five, measures development. We're getting closer to the end. And for this, it has again started an agent. Let's see what it provided it as an input for this agent. Okay, so this is the prompt provided to the agent. It has provided some information about the tables and it has provided information about the measures to create. Base measures, quantity measures, customer measures, product measures, and time, time intelligence measures. And then apply dynamic format strings, display folders, descriptions, and a bit of a guidance. Okay, it has started another agent to create Spanish culture and translations. Let's see what it added as an input for this agent. So the task is to create Spanish culture, translate table names, okay, translate key measures, key columns, and so on and so forth. Now I had to remind agent that it's only allowed to use Power BI MCP and no other tools. And if you can see here, it's actually identified an issue where it said both format string and format string expression. It's important to mention this MCP is super powerful which means there could be situations where it produces corrupted state of the model. You have to be very careful and very specific with your guidance and also do backups to make sure that in case something like this happens, you can roll back to a stable version. It's rolled back the changes, supposedly fixed the issue and started agent again to make Spanish translations. Apparently, it did help because it was able to submit translations. Great. However, in certain cases, it would not be able to fix the issue that it has created. 
Okay, it has finished all eight phases. Let's see what it provided as a report and then go through the model that it has created and see whether it completed everything we asked it to do. Okay, this is a very long report. Okay, build complete, seven tables. Okay, including measures table, good. Star schema, so it set up relationships. It created eight buckets table, which I asked it to do. Only single direction filtering. We'll check for that. It has created 20 measures, okay, including some time intelligence ones. It has created UDFs for currency formatting and scaling. Great. Supposedly, it created three parameters, reusable ones, four connection strings. It has set some of the columns, summarized by none, has disabled out-of-date tables, great. Actually, this is not correct, because discourage implicit measures equals true is not the same as disabling out-of-date tables. Okay, so we found one issue. Date table marked as official date table. That actually will disable out-of-date tables by default. Okay, has created Spanish culture and it created translations for tables. With regards to age buckets, I asked it explicitly to analyze the data within that column and based on the data in that column, create buckets. Okay. So it did an analysis and created six balance segments or buckets as I call them. 1824, 2534, and so on and so forth. And configured proper sort order. We'll have to check that as well. It created dedicated measures table. Great. It assigned display folders to measures. I have no idea what it means, to be honest, whether it actually optimized anything with regards to that. So we can ask. Explain. Okay, let's see what it did. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we found another issue. Claude, in specific, can be misleading. Sometimes it tells you it done something, even though it didn't. Okay, so exactly. It didn't do anything with regards to that. What it could have done is, for example, hit the column, which it didn't. And here it specifies what it could have done, but didn't. Again, it did not do so. It could have split first and last name, okay, to reduce cardinality. It could have removed, but it kept it and did not ask. So, as you can see here, models can lie. Let's check the model. Another issue which I see here already is that it created calculated table, 
However, it did not verify that refresh happened. And that's why we see it here. It could have ran refresh to fix that. It did not do so. However, I think it's a nothing major. So let's refresh this. And let's go through the model to see what we have here. First, I would like to explore measures table. We have four display folders, customers, growth, products, and sales. All of the measures are working, as it seems. There are no issues here. Now, here is our age bucket table, which it has created. Let's verify that it's set sort order properly for age bucket column. It has indeed set it to sort order, but I think it hit some columns. Yes, it did. Okay, great. So, data lie here. Amazing. Let's check if it set day table as proper day table. Let's go to calendar options. And yes, it did. It's set as date table. Now, it has also established star schema with sales table in the middle and dimensions. Okay. And as we can see here, there, is also, there are also relationships here for age buckets. Let's go to Power Query and see what we have there. Now we see here that it has created two parameters, albeit those are not the native parameters that I wanted it to create. However, that will do. Let's see if it actually used them. Okay, wait. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So it created the SQL connection table, which uses those parameters, server name and database name, and then it refers to it in DAS navigation. Okay, that's an option. That's an option. Now, the last thing that I would like to check before I log off is how much context we actually used. Actually, we still have plenty to spare, so we could have went with bigger model. As you can see, in tw just 20 minutes, AI was able to build model from scratch based on the requirements that I provided it with. What likely would have taken me a few hours to do manually. Just 20 minutes and a bit of a guidance. This is what's possible today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.